this rejection part, I <laughs> I don't really like to use this. I'm struggling to. Here we go. Luke chapter 9, 23, 24. Then he said to them all, If anyone will come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. For whoever loses his life for me will save it. Jesus teaches us how to become true disciples through verse 23. And it says, Then he said to them all, If anyone will come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. First, we must deny ourselves. Here it means we must deny our sinful nature. As the Bible says, the source of man's all problems is sin. Sin means to live according to our sinful desires, such as lust, easygoing life, and self-glory-seeking desire. Sometimes it is easier to think that to live for our pleasure is not a bad thing and leads ourselves into an unhappy life toward eternal condemnation. However, after tasting a little bit of pleasure, we may realize something's wrong and try to fix in our own way. But it will cause bigger problems in the future. Indeed, this sin problem can never be solved unless we accept our Lord Jesus Christ who died for our sins and rose again to defeat the power of Satan. As a soldier of Christ, we must actively fight spiritual battle by repenting every moment, praying for the help of the Holy Spirit to cleanse our hearts and strengthen us and holding to one word of God as the weapon of spiritual battle. I was born in Seoul, Korea on January 20, 1986. As the first son of missionary Abraham Moses Kim and missionary Sarah Poland Kim, who came to New Jersey in March this year. During my childhood, I was a good boy who kept my conscience clean, absolutely keeping traffic lights, not speeding on the road, not using cursing words, obeying my teacher, and practicing unconditional love of Jesus and His forgiveness. <laughs> I was called a righteous man. <laughs> when I was in seventh grade, God helped me to resist bully classmates. And through prayer, I could overcome myself and do everything without fear. It seemed my, li my life had no problem. However, from ninth grade, sin began to take control of my life and to make me live a double life different from school, playing computer games and watching chronographs until my eyes got so red and felt pain. Of course, I tried hard to stop sinning, but in spite of all my decision and effort, I failed every time and completely lost my self-confidence. As a result, I suffered from, from chronic nightmare and just wanted to see the end of my life. After all, I gave up on myself. Nevertheless, God showed His undying hope to me through 2003, JBF conference held about 100 days before college entrance exam. God penetrated my heart through one word of God from Genesis 131. God saw all that He had made, and it was very good. There, I accepted that He truly loved even this dirty and undeserving sinner, and sent His one and only Son, Jesus, for my sins. After true repentance with many tears, Inexpressible joy and peace began to overflow out of my heart. However, I took an exam, and it was a complete failure. Yet, in God's plan, it was not a failure. He prepared my way to America in a mysterious way. And in an airplane, I kept reminding myself of God's great promise and my life purpose to rebuild His life-changing power. Second, He must take up His cross. Here, cross means the cross of mission. God gave each person a specific mission. As a student missionary, my cross is to be a good student. It is also to be a good Bible student in order to grow in personal faith and a personal relationship with Jesus. March 19, 2004, by God's grace, I arrived in USA safely and I began to work hard for God with clear identity and determination as a missionary. However, obviously, Satan did not stop bothering me. 
I started to force myself into chaotic lifestyle. Just like my past sinful life, I watched pornography, always thought about lustful things, and played computer games all night until I got so exhausted that I had to sleep like a dead body. <laughs> of course, I skipped classes for a year and just made my parents angry. I hated God and cursed His name for making me suffer so much, and all I wanted to do was killing myself. In the past, God was the center of my life, and I fought with Him against the power of Satan. But now, I was totally occupied by many demons and was controlled by them. Living nearby Brooklyn University campus, I could hear many times of the parting campus students' demonic scream sound, destroying their lives. <laughs> and I wanted to give away myself to lust, like a prostitute. But all I could do in my sinful nature was looking at girls to fill myself with dirty desires. It was not a life, but a complete curse. However, God sent me good shepherds and began His work to restore my spirit. Through them, God gave me clear direction to remember Jesus Christ, forgive others, repent of my sins, and give thanks to give thanks to God in all circumstances. And not understanding God's will and hope, I thought He had brought me all the way to America just to extend my suffering and kill me at the end. But now I understand and give thanks to God for everything He has done. He has trained me to be strong and to make a clear decision to live as a true disciple of Jesus. Amen. I will continue my spiritual battle to restore myself as a true disciple of Jesus. It is my personal prayer topic to study hard for the glory of God and transfer to four-year college next year, as I set my goal to reveal God's amazing life-changing power. Mm -hmm. To take a cross daily, I must overcome my laziness and study hard for God's glory. May God use me as a useful instrument for His word mission. One word. I will live for Christ, not for lust.